Lucky 13 presents to you our final presentation about our TV show titled To Love or Not to Love. First, we will provide a summary of the TV show that we have created and produced. To Love or Not to Love is a TV show based on a company called People's Financial located in downtown Tampa and some of its employees. Everything may seem fine in the financial analyst department as an all-male team. However, once an attractive, intelligent female is the newest addition to the team, the financial analyst department goes downhill. The manager of the department is associated in unethical behaviors, and his best friend has to decide if he should rat the manager out or stay true to his friendship. Throughout the TV show, many managerial concepts are discussed in regards to decision-making processes, ethics, and human resource controls. The show's target audience is young adults ranging from the ages of 18 to 30, as they would be most entertained by the romance, drama, and concepts learned that they can apply to their own lives. Now, we will give a quick overview of the characters in the show. John is a dedicated manager of the financial analyst department that really values and follows the four functions of management. His interpersonal, analytical, and critical skills help him succeed in his current position. However, he faces an ethical dilemma of dating in the workplace, which may make him less good of a manager. Rachel is the first female addition to the financial analyst department. She is a gorgeous, extremely extroverted individual who possesses great planning and organizational skills that show in her job performance. She interferes with John's role as a manager as she helps to create the ethical dilemma that they are both in. James is another member to the financial analyst department. He is intelligent and a bit on the introverted side, but possesses great conceptual skills which helps him in his position. He is very close friends with John and is unsure how to handle John's dilemma. Sarah is James's wife and is a loyal advisor to him. She is great when it comes to making moral decisions that tend to help her husband in this show. Jennifer is a human resources manager. She has a resource allocator role which fits her position well. She has great interpersonal issue solving skills and is very serious about solving ethical dilemmas such as the one in this show. Now that you know about the general plot and characters of the show, we will go over how we demonstrated concepts in our episodes. The first episode we will go over is episode 4, The Policy. Code of Ethics is an important managerial concept for companies to have in order for their employees to keep good ethical behaviors. In this episode, we explain this concept by People's Financial wanting to update their new Code of Ethics to have a no dating in the same department policy. In order to make this happen, every department needs to decide on if they agree with the policy. Therefore, we show John leading his team and going through the classical decision-making model. These seven steps are the most common steps used when making an ethical decision. In the end of the episode, the department and the rest of the company agrees and the new policy is implemented. The next episode we will go over is episode 6, The Reveal. In this episode, James goes to human resources about John and Rachel's unethical dating dilemma. In this situation, he is considered to be a whistleblower. This is an employee who discloses unethical conduct on other people or organizations. We explain that he is the whistleblower in this episode. In this episode, Jennifer, the human resources manager, falls through on the policies and procedures of human resources when dealing with John and Rachel's dilemma. She punishes John and Rachel by following the company's HR procedure on breaking a code of ethic. HR policy procedures are ways for a company to control employees' behavior. In the end, James is rewarded for his moral ethical behavior by being promoted to assistant manager. It is crucial for managers to reward good ethical behaviors in order to motivate other employees. Why did we decide to demonstrate these concepts? Well, human resources is a vital department in every company. Understanding the role of human resources helps employees feel safe in the company they are working for. Following the code of ethics for the company you work for is important to keeping your job. And classical decision-making model gives you a way to make knowledgeable decisions in the workplace and outside of work as well. Our group has created general conclusions on management based on what we have learned through this course and the project. The conclusions are as follows. Our definition of management is the process of accomplishing a goal or set of goals through other people. 
Management creates possibilities for stable and successful operations. Management is one of the most vital processes of any business organizational system. A manager needs to always be willing to learn new things and be able to adjust to changes within a group. As a group, like management, we learned that we all had to be willing to adjust to everyone's schedules and unexpected changes to best complete our project. We believe that the new systems and organizations of management can arise in the future as every system has its flaws and can adjust to each company or goal. Lucky 13 consists of six show directors that work together to create and produce To Love or Not To Love. The show directors are as follows, Amanda Ellie, Anthony Semple, Brandon Zuli, Jade Ramos, Orzaman Kodiev, and Stephanie Eddy. Each show director has shared a reflection on the project in class that will be seen in the following slides. Amanda reflects, throughout the course, I learned many different managerial concepts that I could apply not only to my own life, but also as team leader in our group for the project. The project itself was very interesting as it put six completely different personalities to work together. Even though we had conflicting schedules to meet, I still enjoyed working with these students and their unique skills. The project can be time consuming, however, it is a fun way to apply the skills we learned throughout the course. Anthony reflects, this class not only has taught me the importance of collaboration and teamwork, but also time management and communication. I am really proud of our group coming together and being able to work together and get everything done within a timely fashion. This group has taught me that your work is only as good as your group, and the quality is how much work you guys collectively put into it. One person can't do it all, so it requires everyone pulling their own weight and voicing their opinions. Brandon reflects, this class was tough but easy at the same time. The project helped me understand how important communication can be when it comes to working in a group. I've also gained a better understanding on how to manage certain small assignments within a big project. The class has also helped me understand key concepts to help with any work-related situation, especially for the restaurant business. I would highly recommend taking this class if you want to improve your management skills. Jade reflects that working in a group was a little daunting at first. The time commitment it was going to have made it hard to meet all the time. But in the end, this project was a great experience. It helped to show that you don't have to be together to get the work done. Virtual teams are a growing thing in the business world, and I am glad I got to experience it firsthand in this class. Now, if I have a future job where I have a virtual team, I can better know how to work through issues and get the work done more efficiently. The class taught me a lot about the business world and how to manage people with my own type of style that still shows people you understand them. The Finger Puppet project at first was a little strange to me, but seeing our final project is really cool. We can keep this forever, especially since it's on YouTube, and go back to see what things we learned in college and how we are applying the concepts to our everyday lives. Orsman Reflex. As an international student, I had to challenge myself for the first time working in a group of six people in a consistent basis. It was a great opportunity to meet these guys and work with them, as every person I meet in my life is a big book that should be read and analyzed. Being on the same boat with these extraordinary young students, I have learned that cooperation and integration are one of the key elements of managing the workflow. Overall, I gained valuable knowledge and experience that will help me understand people's behavior in my future life. Stephanie reflects, through this project, I learned that working in groups requires a lot of communication and stepping up to the plate. This project was beneficial in learning the concepts because it provided a hands-on experience, which in my opinion is one of the best ways to learn something. As a group, we have all worked together to get the assignments done each week. At the beginning of the semester, we were able to get together and plan something out for the project. After that, our schedules didn't line up as well as we wanted them to. Therefore, we had to adapt to working together virtually with a couple of us meeting in person. For each assignment, we delegated tasks that each group member thought they could best apply to their own personal skills. Everyone communicated with one another throughout the project, which helped us to complete all of our assignments to the best of our ability. We can all agree that this project is a lot of work. However, it has helped us to better learn the managerial concepts throughout the course.
Our group has a few recommendations we would like to advise to future students taking this course. Our recommendations are as follows. Communication is key when it comes to splitting up the work and keeping the group up to date on our tasks. If your group can't all meet because of conflicting schedules, delegate tasks so everyone is still involved. Due dates sneak up on you. Complete what you can early, not only for your own personal work, but also group assignments. Don't be afraid to ask questions, whether it's the professor or your group mates. Ask questions to make sure you understand what is expected from you. And finally, engage in your group work. Learn from the previous mistakes and help others while they are failing and develop your communication skills.